I'm Michelle Cotton, I'm the Head of Artistic Programs and Content at Mudam and the Curator of Post Capital, Art and the Economics of the Digital Age. The exhibition takes its title from a book that was published in the 90s uh, called Post Capitalist Society and I was interested in the way that this uh, book, even though it doesn't even mention the internet, it talks about the notion of um, knowledge superseding the ownership of labor, land or um, property uh, and this being in, in the future the way that economies would be defined. So the artworks in the exhibition really reflect a society that's transformed by recent technologies such as the internet, e-commerce, social media and so on. So they consider the phenomena of, for instance, contemporary labour conditions, automated warehouses, logistics centres, the gig economy, um, the emergence of industries such as data mining, uh, the idea of an attention economy where our engagement, our likes, our shares can be monetized, and the notion of property in the in, in 21st century and how this extends to our data, our personal data, and um, how this inter interacts with our legal and political systems. In terms of the number of artists presented and the range of media, this is the largest exhibition that we've presented here at Mudam since I've been here. So technically, logistically, it's, it's a, complex, um, a complex project to pull off. And we also had some very large works, but not least Nora, Nora Tarato's piece um, installed here in, in the galleries, made here in the galleries, but also Roger Hyun's piece, which uses uh, MiG-21 aircraft. For that piece, we brought the aircraft here into the museum. This is a new work that we commissioned especially for the exhibition called Exactly My Point. It's a, it's a mural, so it's a painting made directly on the wall. It took a team of people over 10 days to make it here in the museum. And after the exhibition, it will, it will be destroyed, it will disappear. But of course, conceptually, it will still exist as a possibility that can be created elsewhere. Nora's practice is kind of threefold, if you like. She works with text, she works with language. She's, a, if you like, a beat poet for the smartphone generation in the sense that she's taking language from all different contexts, from the media, from her own private correspondence, from um, yeah, television and so on, advertising, and cutting and pasting together these huge epic scripts that then become the material for her work. These sculptures belong to a series by an artist called Katya Novitskova, who has been working for some years with, uh, upon the notion of attention economies. So she uses um, purposefully attractive, intriguing, extraordinary images of natural, um, of animals, and she pairs them with these, uh, with these upward uh, pointing arrows a kind of crude graphic that we might associate with financial graphics, um, stock market exchange and so on. And uh, the, the graphic kind of mimics our reaction perhaps as we encounter their works because they're made, they're, they're so Instagrammable if you like, they're, so, they're made for us to, uh, they're try, they're, they invite us to pull out our smartphones and uh, engage with them by taking a picture and um, sharing it online.